welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. I have been living in New York for three years, going on my fourth year living here, my senior year of New York City, if you will. And I have loved it so much. I've lived in this beautiful Greenwich Village apartment for two years, and then I lived in the Lower East Side for one year before that. So I'm going on my fourth year living here, and I'm ready for a change. I am ready to move, and a lot of people have been asking me, like people in my life more so, like, oh, so how long are you gonna stay in New York? I don't know, until I'm ready to leave, honestly. Like, I just feel like I'll have a feeling, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm really enjoying it right now. I have so many of my friends, my boyfriend's here, I have some family here, it just feels right. I do the podcast with Brooke here in New York. Gals on the go, go listen. I, it's where I'm meant to be right now and for that I'm very grateful. Do I wanna live here forever? No. Like I couldn't even tell you when I'm gonna leave. Like I do not know. So with that being said, the apartment hunt begins. The best part, this is so much fun for me. I personally love moving. I enjoy it, I love apartment hunting. I think it is so entertaining. I mean, last year I literally toured apartments in the city with my realtor just because I wanted to see what's out there I find it so interesting I really enjoy it I love touring apartments for friends that maybe are at work or haven't moved here yet and they need my help like I love this stuff so you might be asking why are you moving your place is so great I love this place but I am ready for a change I would really like to live in a new location I just think it's fun it's very common here in New York to move a lot at least among the people I'm around because it's fun to live in new neighborhoods and I'm very privileged and blessed that I can do that because Honestly, broker fees are very expensive here in the city. It's basically, I never knew what broker fees were till I moved to the city, but it's basically a set rate. That's usually a percentage of the yearly rent that you pay the broker, um, which sometimes can be pretty steep. So that's definitely something that is not fun about moving multiple times. You wanna live in your apartment a couple of years to make the broker's fee worth it, a lot of people say. Anyways, I am moving and I wanna take you guys along. I just recently toured a ton of apartments and I wanted to show you guys all of them. We toured all the neighborhoods. I went to see apartments in Fidei, Tribeca, Chelsea, West Chelsea, Soho, and I think that's it. Nomad, Flatiron, Nomad Flatiron. So I'm gonna be showing those apartments to you guys today and I will eventually be revealing, of course, which apartment I ultimately go with. I'm really excited and I'm just gonna kind of take you guys through and do a little voiceover. But before we get into those tours, which are so fun and I literally love it so much, we're gonna get into like what I'm looking for exactly, why I'm moving and more. So like I said, I enjoy moving. I really like living in new neighborhoods. I would love to live in a new location. There's certain things about my current building that I don't love that I'll get more into once I move out. Um, but there's certain things there. I would love, my current building doesn't have any amenities. I would really love to live in a building that has a roof. My first apartment had a roof and I absolutely loved it. I used it often. I loved having that outdoor space. I would love to have a gym and then I would pause or cancel my Equinox membership. Yeah, and a doorman. I have a doorman right now, so I'd like a doorman in the future as well. And just overall, I do like a luxury apartment building. I'm very blessed that I'm able to afford that, but I do like a luxury building. I also film everything in my apartment, so I want it to be a space that I really love. And I love decorating new spaces and I'm kind of in the mood for a little switch up, keeping most of my furniture, but I'd love to do like a little bit more of a moody dark moment. So. Um, and I also need good lighting, of course. I want a washer dryer and unit. What else do I want? As for bedrooms, I would either be looking for a two bed or a one bed with a big walk-in closet because basically the second bedroom I would just make like a closet because I always like this idea of an office but I really always end up working at my kitchen table so <laughs> that would be that. Dishwasher would be nice which most, a lot of apartments in the city have dishwashers, but honestly not all. Like a lot of people in my life don't have dishwashers in the apartment. So it's really hard to find all those things in New York. You literally have to pick like your top things as a priority. So that's what I'm looking for. I'd really like to stay on the west side or like Nomad Flatiron. I really like over west. I just find I live most of my life over here. I do a lot of stuff over here. I would love to be near the west side highway. I love going for walks. I love being near the water. Um, these are all just like, if in a perfect world, these are all just the things that I would love. Am I moving in with Ryan? The answer is no. I've answered this many times on the podcast and I feel like I've talked about it here 
on my YouTube channel, but maybe not as much. So if you don't listen to Gals on the Go, you definitely should because Brooke and I, it's a weekly podcast and we do talk a lot about stuff like this. But Ryan and I decided we're not gonna move in together this fall. We had toyed with the idea of moving together this fall. But if I'm honest and I've talked about this on the podcast, I I am just not ready and he agreed. Like it's not even ready. It's more so like I can move in with him tomorrow. He's a fabulous person. We spend a lot of time together. I know we would live great together. But if I see myself with him forever, I just would love, like I just know once we move in, that's it. And then we're together forever and it's so fun and I love that idea so much, but I love my independence. Right now he still works from home and we would at least need a two bed. And there's just a lot of things that go into it. So after him and I discussed it, just like doesn't make sense for us right now to move in. He loves living with his guy friends. There's like another, like he's gonna move out of his current place, I think, and live with another friend that he's always wanted to live with. Like, it's just, we're in our 20s and I don't really want to explain myself anymore. Obviously, him and I love each other so much and we have a great relationship, but I just, I don't think, we, we just don't want to move in together. And that's that. And I don't mean to get defensive, but I feel like I always just get so many questions about it and that's that. And I'm really happy with the decision. I feel really good about it. He feels good about it. So that's that answer. And then lastly, yeah, so we're gonna tour some apartments with my amazing realtor, Mackenzie Kyle. She's such an iconic human being. She's helped me with my last two apartments and um, I wanted to tour some apartments with her. She's just so fun and she works for Platinum Properties. I'll have her contact information down below because I'll tell her, like, we'll have a call. This is what you would do if you worked with her too. And I just tell her everything I want. <laughs> all the you know neighborhoods my priorities for what i want in the apartment and then she will then send me listings based off of that and then the best part especially if you're visiting from out of town and you're like looking to move to the city she sets up a whole day or two and she creates a whole schedule she literally calls the ubers from apartment to apartment so your day is so seamless she helps you ask the hard-hitting questions to the person representing the unit she also helps me prepare like a checklist of everything you need to submit because in New York it moves so fast so that when you're touring apartments, like there's been times where I'm like, I need this apartment and I literally go home or outside of the apartment, I'll have my computer go to a coffee shop and apply because if you're doing an open house, especially like if other people are touring the apartment at the same time as you, you don't know and you do not want to lose it because things go truly so fast. It's happened to me so many times. Um, so now I've gotten really good at it. Now when I see something, I'm like, I here's everything you need from me because I'm applying right now. And she has helped me so much with that. So she created an amazing schedule and we toured a ton of apartments and I tried to get really good videos of everything. Um, so yeah, you guys will have to let me know which ones you are loving. Um, I, there's a couple that I'm like obsessed with. There's like one in specific that I'm like, that's the one. So I'm curious to see if you guys feel the same way, but they're all so amazing. And it's so fun just seeing apartments in different neighborhoods. Like I just love this stuff so much. So Mackenzie Kyle with Platinum Properties is absolutely amazing. I'll have her contact information down below. If you're looking to move in New York or if you're looking to move to New York, she's super helpful with all of the above. Some of my friends have worked with her as well. So without further ado, uh, let's get on into the apartment tours. Starting off the tours in the financial district, I toured this beautiful one bedroom apartment in this stunning luxury apartment building. I've looked at this building in the past and I've always wanted to live here, honestly. I think it's a beautiful building. The kitchen is just beautiful. I love how you can't even see the dishwasher or the fridge. Like it's very well done. The finishings are so nice. I love the kitchen. This is the bedroom. It was a little bit darker than I was expecting in the bedroom, um, but it still had really good lighting. This was the bathroom. I wasn't dying over it, but also it was still like a really nice bathroom um, and I really liked the lighting in there I wish there was a little bit more storage but the closet was pretty big which was nice washer and dryer which is also great um, and we got to see some of the amenities as well the amenities were for days I mean there was like a terrace there was a roof a beautiful view of the Freedom Tower which is so nice in a great location right next to the train which would be good living in Fidei like it's very south, so you want to make sure it's still very accessible to the rest of the city, and it definitely is. There's some grills on the roof. They had, like, tanning chairs, which I thought was so fun in the summer. They had all different kinds of lounges to work in. Like, there was a work lounge. There was a more fun lounge. There's this full-on workout room with a mirror and everything. Obviously, a really, really nice gym as well. Very big gym. Really well-designed. Okay. 
Next neighborhood is Nomad. I absolutely love Nomad. I think it's a really great spot and they have some great buildings. This building was so chic. I loved the kitchen. This is like my ideal kitchen. Um, a little bit on a higher floor. It had this great larder for storage in the kitchen, a wine fridge, like how incredible. Um, pretty big closet. The living room what layout was a little weird and also the person stuff was in here so I didn't take like a ton of big pans but the view was great. Another um, washer dryer situation which was very important to me. Bathroom was also beautiful. Loved that lighting in the bathroom. The shower looked divine. I also loved how this was a corner unit and the bedroom was in a corner and had these huge windows. The amenities also in this building were stunning nonetheless. There was a gym, this beautiful stair spiral staircase with pelotons. And then there was like a couple different outdoor areas here as well, if I remember correctly. Um, I saw so many apartments, so I'm trying to remember everything. But um, I love this little outdoor space. And again, Nomad is just a really great area. They had like a ping pong table area, stuff like that. Next up, we have Chelsea. This is more on the west side. This building is absolutely stunning. I mean, this kitchen is actually everything I want more. I'm pretty sure I have it on my Pinterest boards. The bathroom, literally unreal. A separate bathtub and shower. I've never experienced this kind of luxury ever. Like I could truly take some baths in there. And the bathroom is just so beautiful. I loved how it was a double sink, even though I'm living alone. Like if Ryan were to ever move into this, that could be nice. It was just a really beautiful big bath and this is the bedroom the windows are super cool um had really great lighting the closet was ginormous like the person the organization i could do in this closet the living room was big i could put like a nice dining table in here um i actually didn't show the amenities in this building because it was kind of a rush tour but and they were like painting and stuff washer dryer as well a coat closet this one actually this was a one bed as well but it had two bathrooms you guys it had a guest bathroom but the guest bathroom bathroom also has a shower which is so great because i have people staying with me a good bit um obviously not necessary but definitely really cool and if i had parties and people over that could be like the bathroom people use so i did really like that now on to tribeca this building was a super old building that they renovated into condos that are all so unique and have such character um this was the guest bathroom you guys this is also a one bedroom the kitchen was so ginormous i was like the things i could do in this kitchen the cooking i could do the lighting was interesting though because it is south facing which always has the best lighting however it felt like like it was always bright in there but it was like a different kind of bright it was pretty close to another building um but the kitchen oh my god i can't get over it and it was this beautiful bedroom these huge doors that opened up the condo owner had um renovated this closet to make it like her dream closet and added in this mirror it was a very very cool closet like definitely could see myself just putting all my clothes in this closet and the bathroom as well oh my gosh i love um seriously again double sinks the shower was beautiful i like definitely looked at the kitchens and bathrooms i just find it so interesting really great amenities here as well and again this building was in tribeca which is a great location um there's like a media room stuff like that all the buildings i saw for the most yeah all these buildings i've seen all have like rooftop stuff like that even if i didn't show it they all have gyms rooftops stuff like that this roof was so nice it had this beautiful like fountain i could not believe it Okay guys, the apartment hunt has ended. Comment down below your favorite, but also maybe I don't want you to because what if the one that I'm loving you guys don't love, but I feel like you guys know me and my style and like what I want. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This was so much fun. I cannot wait for the next journey, the next chapter. I'm really so appreciative. None of this would be possible if it weren't for you guys, as I hope you know already. I love you guys so much. I can't wait for the moving vlogs for the decorating vlogs, for just all of it. I will be revealing very soon which one I ultimately chose. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon for our next video. Bye.